Hey guys. So today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 favorite plants of the moment. These are just plants that I find really extra cool right now. I mean, I find all my plants cool, but I'm picking favorites. <laughs> Well, okay, right now favorites, because overall favorites, that's too hard to do. I'm not committing to that decision. Please leave a comment down below letting me know what your current favorite house plants are. I'm sure everybody here loves to have some new plant recommendations to go check out, so I'm really excited to see what your picks are. And also, thank you to Skillshare for partnering with me on today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with courses on thousands and thousands of different topics. I personally have learned so much on Skillshare from courses focused on cooking to even plant care, um, interior design, and now I'm actually currently working on production quality. I hope you've been noticing in the past several videos and will continue to notice going forward, but the course that really, really has helped me and I keep referring back to over and over again is called YouTube Success, Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD taught by Marquise Brownlee. This course really covers every topic you could think of start to finish, whether you're producing your YouTube video at home by yourself or at a studio with a team, there's definitely something to be learned. So that's just one course I've learned so much from and I know that there's going to be a course out there for you as well and your interests. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of inspiration. If you'd like to give Skillshare a shot, which I do highly, highly recommend for every single person watching this video, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. And that link will be down in the description box. Be sure to check them out. And thanks again to Skillshare for partnering with me on today's video. Let's get back into the plants. All right, so now let's talk about some plants and they are in no particular order um, because picking 10 plants out of all of my hundreds of plants is hard enough as it is. We're just gonna work our way. I have all the plants here and I'm gonna move them here as I talk about them. Again, no particular order. Emphasis on the no particular order. <laughs> So first up, we have this Anthurium warroquianum, which I purchased this from the Plants Meow on Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel. I've never owned a long baby like this before, so it's been really fun to keep. And actually, since I've gotten it, I mean, look at all these aerial roots. It's popping out and it's getting a new leaf, which is really, really exciting. I didn't expect it to put on a new leaf for months and months. I mean, I guess it's been a couple months, but I wasn't expecting one yet, I guess. And it's done the thing. So yeah, I think it's really cool. And I'm excited to be able to see this leaf start, you know, from here or where it even started before coming out of here and end up like these leaves, these two older leaves here. Really, really beautiful. So thanks, Ella. I love it. Next up is kind of a small, seems not as exciting as that one, but I promise you it is. So. This is my tray of variegated philodendron, variegated heart leaf philodendron. I'm just a sucker for heart leaf philodendrons in particular, you know, like um, you'll see, you'll see a heart leaf philodendron a little bit later on on this list, but also like philodendron Brazil, all of that. I think that they're so beautiful and fun and you know, you know me, well, maybe you know me and the fact that I quite enjoy watching variegation form on the leaf. Like getting a leaf period is really exciting, but getting variegated leaves in particular is extra exciting because you know, the anticipation of what's the variegation going to look like. I don't know, there's just something about that to me. Like look at this one here. So these are, this is actually, I don't know if I quite said, this is actually a tray of single leaf um, little propagations I've done, or actually even some of them were just node propagations I've done, and they are propping, they're popping, doing the thing. So it's, did you just see that? That spilled all over my notebook. I'm so mad at me, at least it didn't spill on my mic. Anyway, yeah, this has been really fun. <sighs> Next up, Ooh, it's kind of heavy, is my Monstera adansonii. <laughs> oh, this is the, what's it called? It's not narrow form, wide form, wide form, wide form Monstera adansonii. I love this thing. There's just something about the chubby looking leaves that I just love and really relate to, you know? You know what I mean? It also sits like right next to my bed on my nightstand, on the terrarium on my nightstand. So like first thing in the morning when I wake up and the light is shining through so beautifully through my window, it hits this plant and I get to see it shining through this plant and it just like starts my day off really nice, which is why 
You know, this one's like a forever favorite. Actually, I can't commit to that, like I said earlier, but it's definitely up there. I really appreciate this one and it does really bring a lot of joy into my life. And not only that, but I do find this to be a very thirsty plant. I don't know if it's because my plant in particular is super root bound and needs repotted, but I swear I have to water this sucker all the time. And I'm actually really happy about that because most of my other plants seem to be to a point where they're just kind of like self-sustaining, like the humidity is super high. Um, they're in a good soil mixture that's not drying out like too quickly or too slowly either. So they're just kind of like in a happy Zen mode right now where they don't need me as often as I would like them to need me. Um, but this one I can always count on to need me. So it's nice to have that one kind of diva-ish baby to really, you know, focus on when I need to take care of some plants for my own mental health. These all weigh a lot. Mm, they feel like they're getting heavier and heavier. Or I'm getting more and more out of shape, one or the other. Maybe both, because they're growing, duh. Okay, Syngonia and Batik. Batik, I'm pretty sure that's how, that's how somebody has told me to pronounce it. Anyway, yes, this is a Syngonium Batik, ah, and I love it. This is actually just in water. This was an import gone wrong, and the, these were some of the few plants I was able to salvage. These plants sat at Customs here in the United States for six weeks, and look at them. They're growing. Um, so these bigger leaves it did have when I got it. This was back in March when I got them in the mail. This is a different type of Syngonium. We're not talking about you right now, sorry. But all these littler ones are new leaves, which I'm happy to see. Oh, it's also getting a new one down here. Do you see that? So I have this one sitting on an Eastern facing window, again, in water with some sphagnum moss and liquid art. And it's done really, really well, thriving in that light condition. Somebody told me that if I kept it next to that window, it was too much light and the markings on it were going to fade. But as you can see, that is just not the case. It is, you know, looking very marking, very, has a lot of markings. They're not fading whatsoever. And although the leaves are a little bit smaller, that doesn't really bother me, but I'm just really happy with it. I love the way these look. They're so stripy and beautiful. So that's why this is on my list. I did not think it would live to see the day, you know? Okay. Next up is my Philodendron Silver Stripe, which is another plant I've had for a long, long time. Again, needs repotted. Don't judge me. It's fine. I mean, it's obviously doing okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it looks pretty good, especially for how long I've had it in this nursery pot. Um, a few years now. Oh, look at how cute these little baby ones are. They're like almost pure, like creamy colored. Can you see, can you see? Or does the white background mess it up? This is another one, how we kind of talked about variegation where I'm excited to see like the new growth come out to see what it's going to look like. I feel the same about this because although each leaf is on the same plant, like they all look so different. So it is really exciting to see that new leaf unfurl and like what it'll add to the plant. You know what I mean? I don't know, let me know if you know what I mean when I'm saying that, but yeah, I just really, really enjoy this. I think it's so beautiful. This is a plant that I do think is great for everybody and I do recommend to everybody if you're able to find it. And again, it's a philodendron silver stripe. Okay, ah, leaf fell off. Next up is a peace lily and this is the peace lily that made me love peace lilies years and years ago before I even made my first peace lily care video and knew anything about them. Like this is the one I saw and I was like, wow plants man plants i mean okay there are a few plants that kind of did that because it was like a slippery slope you know but anyway this is definitely one of those first plants that like i made me realize that like plants were different from each other you know this is a spathophyllum picasso <laughs> new leaves are coming out quite white which does have me um pretty worried because you do want there to be some green to photosynthesize, but we'll see what happens. I mean, hopefully it'll be able to sustain itself. I'm not going to cut them off or anything. I'm just gonna let it do its thing and see what happens. But I mean, this is like the ideal leaf to me. Mostly, mostly white, but with some good green chunks so it can do that photosynthesizing that it needs to to survive. I think this is absolutely beautiful and it is one of my top favorite plants like absolutely one of my top favorite plants. I do think it's pushing out a new um, like crown down here, which is like a little baby plant. So that would be really exciting if it did that. But, oh look, roots are coming out the bottom. I think it's doing good. And it's really pretty and really cool, so. 
Staphylophyllum Picasso. Next up, wait, how many plants? One, two, three, four, five. We've already talked about six plants. This is flying by. Time flies. Time really does fly when you're having fun, eh? Okay, next up, my chair is so squeaky. Next up is a Mandula Pothos. This one I am so happy with. Oh, there's one dry leaf. Oh, there's roots out the bottom. I'm gonna be doing a mass repot, stay tuned, because it's coming at the end of the month and it's going to be a really exciting new series on my channel. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Mandula Pothos, okay, what was I gonna say? I got this in one of those like tiny $4 pots you can get at big box stores and it was the like only one there. I was super happy to find it. And although it was labeled Mandula, it did definitely have more of the Marble Queen look. Like you can see the original leaves here look very Marble Queen-ish, esque. But the newer growth, like here, um, definitely in the back, like at the top, are looking more and more Mandula-esque-ish, whatever. So I'm happy about that. It has grown a lot. Again, it was just one of those tiny little things and it has filled in this pot so quickly. This lives in Kai's room, like offset from the south window. So it doesn't really get like any direct light at all, just kind of ambient light out of that south facing window. And it's done super, super well, super low maintenance. Love it, grows fast. Well, grows kind of fast, not as fast as a regular potho, like golden pothos, but still pretty fast. So I enjoy it. Next up is my Monstera Stanleyana Aria. Um, this may have been this may have been in a favorites video in the past, but you know it's one I always come back to because it just really stands out to me. It really stands out to me. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the shape of the leaves, how they're kind of long and narrow. You know, it's extra cool. Again, is that you know variegation that you get to guess and see what it's going to do, like. Some of them end up looking like this, super yellow and like splotchy. And then some of them are just more muted, which it's really fun to see. I think this next leaf, I don't know what's gonna happen with this next leaf, but you know what? I'm excited about it. If it's green, I'm excited about it. If it's yellow, I'm excited about it. Whatever it wants to do, I'll be excited about it. So if you could open up anytime now, that would be great. And something else that's cool is this has been living in here. Are there any roots at the bottom? No, but it is actually pushing. Oh, you won't really be able to see, but it is pushing a new growth point right there. Maybe you can see that. So I'm going to get another growth point off of that branch, which is really exciting. And I'll keep you posted on what happens with that. So again, Monstera Stanleyana Aria. Okay, two more plants. I had to include a Calathea in this video because I just, I feel like they ain't get no respect when they deserve some respect. So this is my Calathea Macoyana, which this is a variety I recommend for someone that wants to get into Calathea, but maybe is intimidated by them because this one I find to be one of the easier varieties. It's not too picky, like it can survive a little bit of soil dryness, but it also can survive a little bit of excess moisture as well. So it is pretty forgiving and it grows fast. It's really cool. The colors and markings are beautiful. So like the top you can see here, it's like kind of netted looking with dark green and light green. And then if you flip the leaf, it's purple and green with that same like spotting and netting, which I think is beautiful. And the other thing I like about this, I keep this in my bathroom, um, pulled a few feet back from a north window. So in pretty low light, but Purple plants are just cool in general, but especially this one because it is very consistent with the like praying movement, why they're called pray, prayer plants, you know? The circadian rhythm where at night they fold their leaves up. So literally at night, all of the leaves on this stand straight up like this, fold into each other like little praying hands. It's so cute. And it does it every night super consistently. And I just think it's so fun. Like it really reminds me, of course I have all these plants and they grow and do their thing, but like, this really reminds me that they're alive and they move. We don't notice them moving, but they move. It's so it's so wild. Uh, really cool. Love it. Recommend Calathea Macoyana. Look at it. Ah, it's so cute. Okay. And then last up is actually one one of the newer plants to my collection. So this is a Philodendron Splendid, which is actually a cross between Varicosum and Melanochrysum. Isn't it so pretty? Like, I love it. I think it's so cool. So it kind of has more of the Varicosum um, shape and like texture of the leaves, 
But then to me, in my opinion, it definitely has more of the melanocrysum, like velvety finish. Well, I guess varicosum has that as well, but um, at least the melanocrysum, like darker greenish, almost red coloration, which I love. I think this is such a beautiful, fun plant. If you're able to snag one, I highly recommend it. I love it a lot. Ooh, would you just look at that? It's beautiful, really beautiful. So yeah, I had to include it on my list and this one's getting really long. I need to chop and prop. But you know what? As much as I love chopping all my plants, there are some of them I have an extremely hard time doing that with and she's one of them. You're one of them, but I gotta do it or give you a moss pole or do something. Let's let you rest right here. Okay, so those are all of my current favorite plants as of filming this video. <laughs> Maybe it'll change, probably it will change like tomorrow in five minutes in one second, who knows, no. No, I feel pretty comfortable with my, my choices right now. Let me know which plants are your favorite down below, um, what you thought of my picks, if you have any of these, some care advice is appreciated. Your experience with them would be helpful, I'm sure for other people watching this video who are maybe considering picking up one of these plants. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.